Hey everyone, today I'm gonna go into a bit of a rant because I really hate these things. I'm talking about fake makeup. I know a lot of people like to buy these things because they like to have the brand in their collection or they think that it's good quality because it has the fake name and the people creating these took the quality of the original brand and slapped it onto a fake product. This isn't true. And for those who sell these products, you're endangering the lives of a lot of people. And I'm gonna tell you why. But before we get to that, I'm gonna talk about the other reasons why buying fake makeup is bad. First, you don't get the quality. Like I said earlier, they're not just taking the quality of the product and slapping it on a fake product to make it cheaper for you. No, they're just copying the colors, they're copying how it looks, but they can't copy how the eyeshadow goes onto your lid. It'll go patchy, there'll be a lot of fallout, maybe there'll even be a lot of glitters when the product is meant to be matte. Next, since these are fake products, they're made in a factory that doesn't need to be inspected. So you know what can go into your makeup? Rat pee, rat poop, human pee, human poop. Anything you can imagine that falls into a factory, maybe like cockroaches walking around on the products, they don't care about that. They'll just put it in and ship it off to you, you put it onto your lips. Next, there's no ingredient list. You have to remember that anything that you put on your face or your skin gets absorbed into your system. Aside from the rat and human excrements, the other things that could go into your makeup are something you could get an allergic reaction from. So since you're putting it on your face, you could go into anaphylactic shock when your face finally absorbs all the makeup because, I don't know, they might have used peanuts with it. Or you just, you just didn't know that that chemical has a bad reaction on you so you get really bad pimples or a bad rash. You never know. But the two most dangerous things that they put in fake makeup are lead and mercury. Lead is used to make the colors brighter, and mercury is used to make your skin whiter or brighter. Why are these bad? Those sound like good things. Lead and mercury get absorbed into your system and into your brain, kidneys, and liver, and other internal organs, and they could cause damage or eventually shut them down. If you're watching this and you're still selling fake makeup, shame on you. You're selling fake makeup that could kill people, and you don't even care about that. Think about that. I'm done with my mini rant. We're gonna talk about how to spot fake makeup. First, you wanna look at the place where you're buying. Chungae's, informal stores, Facebook stores, Instagram stores, all of these places are probably not authorized resellers. So this is when you start to need to be wary. First, you wanna talk to the person selling it. If they seem like they keep wanting to bring down the price, then that's a little bit sketchy. The next thing you need to ask these sellers is if it's authentic. Usually, they will not say it's authentic. They will beat around the bush a lot. They will say, Singapore authentic, authentic quality or good quality. All of these are just euphemisms for fake. The next thing that you want to look at is the packaging. I would say that it's a pretty good tip to load the packaging of the product that you're looking at on your phone and compare it to the one that you're looking at. Sometimes the color won't be as vivid or it will be too vivid. Sometimes the logo or the design will be a bit off, like it'll be too curved or there will be the wrong foot forward, the wrong hand raised facing the wrong direction, or even just they're missing one element that you usually see on the packaging. The font is also something that you need to look at on the packaging. Sometimes the color can be off, sometimes the spacing is off, sometimes it's too thin or too thick. And the next thing you need to do after that is to inspect the smell. Usually with makeup, they have testers so that you can swatch it on your hand. The moment you open it, take a sniff. If it smells like chemicals, like gas or anything like that, that is most likely a fake product. Companies spend a lot of money to mask that smell, but fake companies can't be bothered to do that because it just costs extra. So these are just a few tips of mine to spot fakes. I'm sure there are many more and you guys have learned a lot over the years. I'd love to hear your tips or even your stories about what happened when you bought fake products. Leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video or found it helpful, please leave me a like, I really appreciate it. Or if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!